today I'm going to be going into single player triple threat because I have one more win left until I get 40 tokens so once we get these 40 tokens I'm going to open some packs but to get the video started off I'm going to open up some packs right now in the reward market token market so I'm going to try to get you can't get any spotlight Jeremy Lin so I'm just going to go for one of these legacy players actually no I'm going for a spotlight no spotlight Kareem's either damn we'll go for this to get Giannis actually yeah we'll go for this I want to no 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 I'm gonna open the cheaper ones I think these ones are cheaper who can we get pink diamond Bill Walton all right so we're gonna open three of these. I'm gonna hop into the triple threat game. And then we're gonna oh a diamond pull off rip. Let's see what we got. I have no idea who it could be because I didn't really pay attention. Is it LeBron? No, Jojo White. No, I don't even know who this is. Austin Carr. I'm actually excited to pull a diamond. I think we should try him out, but we're gonna keep pulling. Two more packs left. See what we get see if we can get another good pull flip ball you get a silver that's actually pretty good because silvers go for a good amount on the auction block if you didn't know if you ever try to complete a collection you'd probably see that and nothing i kind of expected that after getting something good i kind of expect not to get anything at all but let's see who we pulled i already have some good shooting guards we're gonna compare him to jerry stackhouse 6'4, that's not too good. Zero Hall of Fame badges, but 31 gold, six silver, and one bronze. I don't think he's an evolution, is he? No, right? Hold up. Yeah, he's not an evolution. Looking at his attributes good drive and layup, good mid range, good three, good dunk, good ball handle, good defense. He's pretty average. Across the board, he's a good player. Let's see what badges he has, though. Does he have range extender? He has steady shooter. He has quick draw. He has some finishing badges. No range extender at all. So, I don't know. Maybe he has good animations. We're going to see. I'm going to check how much he goes for before I get into this triple threat game. Austin Carr. Ooh, he doesn't go for much at all. 9K? It's actually... It's not too bad. I might just sell him. I don't think you guys need to see Austin Carr gameplay. If he goes for 9,000 MT. I probably... That says a lot about him, you know? Yeah, I'm going to put mine up for 9,000 right now. Get rid of him. So I'm going to make a lot of MT. You know, just for playing the game. So those packs right there, I used tokens to get them. That's why I call this the no money spent squad. My buy any VC, pouring it into my team. It's just about playing the game, having fun. get into the single player triple threat this is my team right now but i'm actually gonna put in Giannis, my best player so i'm gonna easily win this game i already made you guys a Giannis gameplay in the last video that was the second episode of no money spent squad and this is third so i'm gonna show you guys how he plays in triple threat and he probably plays even better Going up against just David Thompson. I don't got to worry about any of those cards, especially in single player. If you lose in single player, then you should really just play domination. Try to get better at the game. If you can beat domination, you should be good enough to play online. Because when you get towards the end, it gets pretty hard. Give it to Giannis. Jerry Stackhouse. Back to Giannis. Find a way to get to the hoop, Giannis. Yeah, just like that. This Giannis is so amazing. Like, 
certain plays that you wouldn't be able to make what like a point guard jerry stackhouse even even kobe michael jordan lebron Giannis can make them because he has like similar ball handling in that he can run point guard basically like he can be your primary ball handler but the thing is he like just as fast if not faster and six foot eleven and he rarely gets blocked just like that rarely gets blocked like that especially in single player i'm going straight up and look at him just dunk on anyone in the way that's what i like about that card and this jerry stackhouse is super underrated too probably gonna make a jerry stackhouse video and i'm gonna show you guys some of his best dunks he's the best dunker on my team yeah he even beats Giannis. because Giannis, you know i think he's the most like dominant but Jerry Stackhouse has the flashiest dunks in the entire game by far. Like, it's crazy what he does. Maybe there's another card, but I haven't seen them. And he's not even fully evolved yet. Let's see what he can do right here. It doesn't have the open lane. Let's give it to Kareem. Throw the hook. Yeah, that was a horrible shot. I'm going to try to end this off quick so you guys can see what I pull in the next pack opening. Get out of my way. And he, uh, I knew he was going to get blocked. It's like that animation. You can recognize it if you play the game a lot. Get that out of here. Yeah, you see, I knew he was going to get blocked right there. Give it to Giannis. You need someone to save you. Let's give it to your dear friend Giannis Antetokounmpo. He's your old reliable. That's what they call him. Best card in 2K now, and I think for years to come, he's going to be the best card. Because he's actually one of the best in the league, you know. So, I guess it makes sense. And just the build he has is a video game build. If you played my park in like 2K15, 2K16 days, you'd know... The type, the that Giannis player is similar to what a lot of people would run in my park. It's tall point guards who can dribble, who can dunk, and not even shoot that much. Because when you're that tall and you're fast, going to the basket is all you're gonna want to do. Because it's so easy, and it's such a low chance of missing, you know. And he has his takeover. He gets even more crazy. Like look at that. Jeez. Wow. Twelve to seven. Safe to say I'm gonna win this game. I just gotta run the floor again and again. Give it to Giannis. Look how fast he scores. Like, come on. Who know, who else in this game can do that type of stuff just like that? I know LeBron can't. I know Michael Jordan definitely can't. He's too small. I know this is a centers. Anyone else that's six eleven? can't do that for sure so who who can you say can do that and who can you say can play defense and grab boards the same way no one that's why Yannick is Giannis is the most unique player in the game and that he can do everything and if you put a three-point shoe on him he can even shoot threes at a high level and this is only the diamond there's two other Giannis is better than the one that I have so keep that in mind and I don't even have the best coach and if you had a point guard with Diamond and Floor General. Look at that. Oh my gosh. He's crazy good. When Galaxy Opal Giannis comes out, it's going to break the entire game. Because he's going to be way, way too overpowered. And no other card is going to be able to stop him. Not even the same Galaxy Opal card. Not even Galaxy Opal Kawhi. Galaxy Opal Scottie Pippen. What other, what other defenders do you know? I don't even know if Galaxy Opa Giannis could stop Galaxy Opa Giannis. But we're going to leave that discussion for another day. Because this game is about to be over. And then I can finally open those packs. Hopefully we can get another diamond pull. Dunk it again. Thank you, Giannis. Now let's see. 
Let's get this out the way. I want my tokens. I want to open those packs. This is how you get your budget team to become a god squad. Grind the game. Make smart decisions and smart investments on the auction block. Don't buy cards you're not going to use. If you have any unused cards, sell them. Continue to build your collector level until you're comfortable at a point knowing you're not going to advance to the next one. So once you collect all those rewards, sell off every single card and you're basically just making profit off nothing. Alright, now I have 47 tokens. What is a Vulcan to give me though? Another token. Another, wait, 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 wait. I just thought I was going to get 87 tokens, but yeah, that makes a lot more sense. So let's get into these packs. Since I have 17, I can open up one spotlight. So I don't know which one I want that to be. That has one diamond. It says one diamond and three amethysts. This has two diamonds. So I guess it's better to open up this. So one spotlight IT. Imagine if I got another Giannis. Yeah, that was not gonna happen. Horace Grant, I'll sell him. I'll sell him off quick. Let's see, how much do these packs cost? 10? Come on, give me a David Thompson. For the vid. Damn. Nothing. One more try. An amethyst. I'll take it actually. I got a diamond, I got an amethyst. Are they teasing a pink diamond? I don't know. Who's the Lakers power forward? Some old guy, isn't it? AC Green. Does anybody watching this know who AC Green is? I know I don't. Anyways, I'll sell him off. So the last one, I'm gonna go with Nate Thurman. Cause I used to play with Steve Smith a lot and I like the card. So if I get him, I'll be happy probably not gonna get him yeah i'll take this over that's it for this video i guess no good pose and another one thing i'm gonna tell you guys if you have a no money spent squad all these little things you get in your collections you want to sell them quick everything but silver is gold sell that off and watch my mc skyrocket it's gonna be crazy wow i actually got a lot of silvers that's gonna be good bronze see how much he goes for first like look at this 2.6 that goes for more than actually no 850 yeah, i'm gonna sell him 400 mt i could live knowing i didn't make that Jalen lequeux 950 yeah i can live knowing i didn't make 500 mt over here Let's see. AC Green, how much does he go for? He probably goes for less. Now that these packs are actually out, that's the one thing. If I pull the card, put him up for 4K, someone else can pull him right after me and put him up for three. And I'll just have to wait four hours to make a sale. Kinda sucks, doesn't it? Yeah, this guy's up for 1K, goodbye. Get out of here. Historic uniforms, sell them all. Sell them all. Don't even bother looking for them. No one cares about the game that much. It's not that deep. You feel me? So I already made about 1K MT. I'm going to make probably 2 to 3K. I'm selling everything. And that's something that a lot, a lot of people would think to do. It is let the collection build up. But at a certain point, you're really not going to get that many cards. Because you're gonna get duplicates and you're gonna end up selling them so you might as well sell them right away same with the shoes they do not count towards your collector level anymore they used to but you know now they just they make you that MT so actually I made about four case right now and we're still making a little bit more because we have some coaches goodbye this is the coach I use Mike Malone he makes those three-point shots for drop so go pick him up if you like to shoot threes and if you like fast cards because he ups your speed or your guards you know he ups the defense for the bigs too pay attention to your coaches because that's why a lot of y'all are losing games and you don't even know why 
because your coach is terrible. If you have a bronze coach, just help yourself. So we made about 8,000 MT actually, more than I thought I'd be making. That's actually a cool ball. I wish I hadn't sold it. I would have used it, but whatever. Anything sold, nothing. So we have these two cards in the auction block. I'm gonna put this up for Or I'm gonna put it up for 3.9 just to guarantee the sale. Someone's gonna see it start with three and just bite on it probably. So I'm not gonna open any packs with MT. I'm warning you guys, especially if you have an MT stack like I do. 59k, I could open up about five packs. I could just sell stuff off. I could open like five, six packs. But the odds are not in your favor. You guys can see from that token pack opening I just did. I only made about I made 8k from sales and I'm going to make what? From tax like 10k from this. So I made about 18k off how many tokens? When I could have used all those tokens and I could have guaranteed myself one of these players from here. I gotta put it towards another pink diamond card and had one of these for 150 or I could have got one of these for sure I could have got multiple of these so yeah be smart with your MT be smart with your tokens because this is the no money spend squad but that was it for this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe this is currently the no money spend squad right now Jerry Stackhouse in don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. It was Andy Constant.